They just built a new Wawa. But I should have went to Wawa and had some soup. Ah, I was acting all hungry. Let me go grab me something to drink. So that's what I did. Went over there, grabbed me something to drink. And um, yeah, don't, don't hate on my steering wheel, but my steering wheel is my shot. So I went over there, grabbed me something to drink. I grabbed a hot dog. Hold on, one second, let me take this off. So I grab a fried hot dog, whatever they call it over there. So I had that. So it left a bad taste in my mouth. I mean a really bad taste in my mouth. Like the food didn't agree with my stomach. So it left a bad taste in my mouth. So I was going up the back roads. There's a big guy up there. He got his own little right there in Washington, New Jersey. 78, exit 17, get on 31 there, and take 31 right out. Right there, Washington, New Jersey. Right by the, um, the Toyota Dillon. It's a Nissan Dillon on the other side. But right by the Toyota Dillon. I went over there, and he had, yeah, some brisket, uh, beef ribs. So I said, you know, let me try the brisket. So he gave me a small container. He was like, yo, 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 money, yo, money, yo, money. You got to try. You missed the mac and cheese, money. You missed the mac and cheese. And I'm like, mac and cheese? How the hell did I do that? I'm playing stupid. How the hell did I miss the mac and cheese? He was like, nah, nah, money. Nah, money. Check it out, money. You missed the mac and cheese, money. Yo, 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 Slim. Yo, Slim. Give us some of the mac and cheese, Slim. Give us some of the mac and cheese. So Slim came with the mac and cheese. Man, that little damn container was about, about like half of this. And he put the mac and cheese in there. And I'm like, hmm. Smelt a little funny, but I said, it's like small though. I taste it. By the time I got up the highway, hey, hey, big man, and, and skinny slim. I don't know if you're gonna watch this video, but I threw that shit out the window, man. That shit was terrible. I don't know who put milk on mac and cheese. Like, that shit was terrible, man, but hey, don't mind me, man. Now, I ain't trying to mess up your business over there, but it is what it is. So, prior that day, I got home. Got home later on that night. I started feeling real funny. So, I get up early in the morning, I couldn't breathe. It took me at least 20 minutes to get up and get myself together for work. So, 
So I was able to get up for work. Went to work. During that whole day, through the whole week, I found myself, every time I eat something, I kept throwing up, throwing up. And I kept running to the bathroom in the port. She was tearing my ass up. So all y'all running around taking all that tissue. I wish I had some of that tissue back then. Shit. I had to split paper towels in half just to, you know, you take the paper towel like this and split it through the middle so you got one thin sheet. Yeah. I had to lace the toilets and all of that. Right off spray. All of this stuff I had to do. Alcohol, all types of shit. I felt like I was dying. So I went through that for one whole week. Second week, it felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. I couldn't breathe for shit. I couldn't breathe. But I still was going through it. But you know how it is sometimes. At that time, I didn't have health insurance. I have health insurance now. But at that time, I didn't have health insurance. So not having health insurance at the time, I knew they weren't going to see me. I knew they weren't going to see me and they weren't going to pay me no damn mind. So I figured I weather out the storm and I'm going to stick it out. So end of, the, end of that week, it just got worse. It didn't get better, it got worse. But now, I was talking to my daughter on the phone and I was telling my daughter Mecca what I was going through. And she was like, Daddy, what you eating? I said, I was trying to eat something. So I went ahead and got me a salad, put some guacamole in it. Oh, that shit killed me. I was throwing up yellow stuff. I don't know if it was the line, my friend told me it was the lining on my stomach, but I was throwing up yellow stuff for the, I mean, just for the last four or five days, it was coming out. Every time I went to the bathroom, it was in the stool. Every time I was laid on the couch, I tried to stand up, it was just throwing up all over the place. I couldn't hold nothing down. I think they lost 10 to 12 pounds. That week, I, I, lo I know I lost 10 to 12 pounds. And I know I need to lose some weight, but I damn sure ain't want to lose weight like that. I ain't want to lose weight sitting over some toilets, pooping and throwing up in the tub. Cause the tub is right by my toilet, so it's just pooping and throwing up in the tub. Tears in my eyes, sweating. Oh, I was sweating like a slave. I was sweating like a slave trying to get out the damn tree. And it kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. Until my daughter told me to drink the, drink some Gatorade. I said, Gatorade? What is that going to do for me? I'm sitting there sweating. So I went to the store. I bought some Gatorade. I think I bought the orange, the green, and the yellow. But the orange and the yellow was, was better. So I started sipping on it, sipping on it. Believe me not. I don't know how my daughter knew, but she was 100% right. Drinking that Gatorade, I bought the big ones. I was drinking two a day, two a day, two. I started Thursday. By the time Sunday came, I swear to God, I felt a whole lot better. A whole lot better. I'm not saying Gatorade's gonna help you with some damn coronavirus. I'm not saying that, so. I don't want y'all sitting there saying this black man on YouTube said Gatorade will stop the coronavirus and they giving that brother a check. They not giving me a damn thing. I'm a truck driver, blood in, blood out truck driver. This is what I do, 26 years. So that just truck shit hitting bumps. So I have to drive trucks. But the Gatorade helped my stomach. So what I'm trying to say is, whatever home remedy you grew up on, as far as soup, chicken, fish, eating broth, taking your vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, taking, I guess some people love sea moss, whatever you can take, oatmeal, to help coat your stomach and get you through this so you can weather out the storm, take it. Don't worry about CNN talking about no water with vitamin C, it ain't gonna protect you. People ain't saying that vitamin C and E to help build your immune system is going to protect you. What they saying is, it's going to help you fight it. It's definitely going to help you fight the virus. So whatever you can do to help you fight it, take it. Because like I said, a lot of black people and a lot of, not just black, but a lot of people, white, Hispanic, foreigners, Caribbean blacks, whatever, whatever your nationality is, Whatever you can take that you, your grandmother grew up, your grandmother made to help you weather out the storm and you grew up off, take it. 
whatever fix you got, take it. Because we can't let this coronavirus take us out. We all in this shit together. You hear me? We all in this shit together. I'm a truck driver. And I know a lot of truck drivers like myself is out here making things happen. And we out here putting our life on the line. I could catch this shit any day, any moment, any second. But I'm out here trying to make, make it happen for y'all. Trying to move this freight up and down the highway. And this is what we doing. So, all I can say is, y'all take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Because all you got right now is family in that house. So take care of your family, take care of each other. And y'all be safe out there. I'll be getting back at y'all later. I'm out of here. Peace.